When Q got diagnosed with chronic kidney disease stage 3B, elevated proteinuria and high blood pressure, his doctor told him not to worry because he had a cure. In just six months, Q got in complete remission. His GFR is now 70. In this video, I'll show you exactly what his doctor prescribed him. Catherine from Double Kidney here. Welcome to our journey together to a better kidney health. What's so special about Q's story? The reason why I'm talking about him today is that he was a part of a study on some very special remedies. And he wasn't the only patient who was completely cured from kidney disease thanks to these treatments. In this study, herbal remedies completely suppressed proteinuria in 14 patients. Now, proteinuria is a very important marker of kidney disease progression. Having no more proteinuria and a GFR over 60 means no more kidney disease. Interesting, isn't it? Let's take a look at exactly what remedies they used to achieve this. First, Ganoderma lucidum or reishi mushroom. Okay, this fungus really has something miraculous about it. It's widely used in many Asian countries for treatment of many diseases, including high blood pressure and diabetes. It has recently been approved in Japan as an adjunctive treatment for cancer. And most important, this fungus has a powerful effect in protecting the kidneys. According to recent research, Rishi has powerful effect on the outer membrane of the nephron, the filtering unit of the kidney. This is what a study on people suffering from proteinuria, an important marker of kidney disease, found out. Incredibly, all the participants of this study had significant improvement in kidney function. In fact, after the treatment, they had no more proteinuria, which is amazing. And it's true that these results were observed on a small number of participants, but again, all the participants of the study had an improvement in kidney function. In vitro studies also confirm some of these findings. Researchers think that reishi makes the kidney less permeable. This in turn helps protect the kidney and stop erosion of the nephron. Okay guys, what you should know about this remedy is that it also has many other benefits other than treating cancer and kidney problems. Reishi is also known to help with cholesterol, preventing heart disease, treating infections, especially those of the urinary tract, and to fight inflammation. This is why this remedy is extremely easy to find all around the world and also cheap. Reishi mushrooms are sold as an extract and can be easily found on Amazon.com or in herbal shops. The dosage in the study on proteinuria is 750 to 1,100 milligrams per day of extract. Talking about the dosage, in other studies, doses of up to 2,000 mg were tested and found to be safe for up to a month. Still, consult your doctor before taking this remedy if you have chronic kidney disease, hypertension, diabetes, or if you are taking medications. And when buying supplements, be sure to find a brand that has obtained his certifications from external agencies. Now guys, this secret weapon against kidney disease works even better in combination with another very powerful herbal remedy, Salvia Milthyriza. It's another herbal remedy that's not just a powerful kidney protector, it may also boast many important health benefits. And this is why you will be able to find this one too pretty easily if you want to try it. There are several reasons why salvia milthyriza, used in Japan to treat kidney disease, is of interest for us. Salvia milthyriza is mostly used to treat high cholesterol and type 2 diabetes, both causes of kidney damage. In particular, it has proven to be especially effective in dealing with high cholesterol levels and high triglycerides when in combination with lipid-lowering medications. 
There is also a study about this herb as a kidney protector during transplant. Research suggests that receiving salvia milthyoriza for 10 days along with usual treatment improves kidney function after a kidney transplant. Now the interesting part, this herb has successfully completed a phase 2 clinical trial under the US FDA and it may be approved in the future for the treatment of high blood pressure and kidney disease in the US. This is because a compound of salvia mythoriza called magnesium lithospermate B has been proven able to promote renal microcirculation. In this study, Rats treated with root extracts of salvia milthyoriza increased GFR by 50% and renal blood flow by 40% compared to the rats with no treatment. And don't dismiss this study just because it was made on rats. The majority of medicines and drugs today in use were firstly tested on animals. The standard therapeutic dose of salvia milthyoriza in humans is 6.56 mg per kilogram of body weight. But consult your doctor and have them find the correct dosage for you. Now this remedy helps blood circulation, so avoid taking it if you take warfarin or other antiplatelet medications. There is a third component of this miraculous therapy I want to show you. This one is very interesting because it has shown very promising properties in our review of studies focus on slowing down the progression of kidney disease. What they use is rhubarb. This is a root extract that even alone can help improving kidney disease. Also known as rheum officinale, this is a powerful anti-inflammatory blood pressure lowering and detoxifier. And just like salvia milthyoriza and rich mushroom, rhubarb extract has been tested and proven to work on patients with CKD. In particular, there is a study published on a respectable paper that has proven several benefits of rhubarb for people in stage 3 and 4 of chronic kidney disease. First of all, this root can greatly lower blood pressure in kidney disease. We are talking up to 20 mm of mercury for the systolic and up to 4 mm of mercury for the diastolic. Very, very impressive and constant results as you can see here. Now guys, I've kept the best for last. In this study on 160 patients with CKD, kidney function of the test subjects increased significantly in the 12 weeks of the study. Patients treated with rhubarb had decrease in blood urea or bone and decrease in serum creatinine, decrease in serum potassium and a significant increase in GFR or kidney function. We are talking up to 46.5% improvement in kidney function which is really a lot, especially in patients in stage 4 of CKD. Those used in this study was 300 mg of rheum officinale extract 3 times a day for 12 weeks. Now guys, if you want to try one or more of these remedies, a great way to incorporate them in your treatment regimen will be to schedule a doctor's visit with a naturopath. They shall be able to verify for you that every single new remedy is compatible with the medications you may be already taking and to give exact dosages. Don't take chances with kidney disease. Don't risk taking a remedy without medical supervision. Even better, use a medical journal, a personal diary to track any improvement and possible side effects of anything new you may want to induce. I've explained how to do this in this video up here. Okay guys, as usual, a new video is coming next Tuesday and I really hope to see you there. In the meantime, keep taking good care of your kidneys and be good to yourself. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.